All right, so welcome back to Hold and Modify. It's Q, your host of YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And uh, today we're looking at the CD32 and why it is such an awesome gaming machine. Now, what you might see here is I've, uh, I'm trying to trace with my finger here. This is a awesome, awesome Dell ultra sharp monitor, the 4x3, that has VGA, DVI, but more importantly, it has S-Video input. And this S-Video input allows the CD32 to plug in to this monitor and display all of its awesomeness, regardless of it being NTSC or PAL. And my CD32 happens to be PAL. So what you may be seeing or not be seeing is the uh, annoying flicker because this is a CD32 that's been modified with a terrible fire. So it's got a 68030, a bunch of extra RAM, a hard drive, WHD load, and a bunch of other stuff to make the CD32 the ultimate gaming machine. I think the CD32 is the ultimate gaming machine because, yeah, you can always pop in actual CDs to play games on it, including the old uh, CD TV games. But more importantly, you can build up an awesome WHD load archive, and you've got this nice little portable console, like gaming console with a game pad. And let's bring up that gaming pad right now. And as you can see right here, the gaming pad is amazing. It's a little awkward, a little weird, but uh, you might recognize this if you bought one of the uh, recent Amiga 500 minis. It comes with a mouse and a game pad. Looks an awful lot like the CD32 right here. But that game pad actually works pretty well. And uh, I actually pushed a button on the game pad, so it's over here telling me, uh, hey, you need to pick something. So. What I want to do is uh, talk about the uh, how simple it is and how great this CD32 is because it is this nice little box that you can just bring with you. You don't necessarily need a keyboard. Now, there are many Amiga games out there that do require a keyboard. And of course, uh, if you don't have the keyboard, you might have some problems. But the majority of fun arcade action, you know, blast em, sock em, you know, Amiga games they don't require the keyboard. Some of them might require the keyboard to press the space bar or F1 or enter, but there are, what I'm talking about, and you guys out there and you gals out there that play the, the flight sims or the simulation games or some of the adventure games, they require the numeric, the numeric keypad, which obviously you're not gonna get here, but most of the games on here, you can enjoy on your CD32 with just that gamepad, even in this crazy, like we've made our CD32 in actual Amiga mode, that's all you need. So I'm sitting here, and I, I wish I could show it to you. I could, but it would be kind of gross. I have a, an Amiga mouse on my, my thigh right now. <laughs> on top of a mouse pad, which is sitting on top of a, an Amiga World magazine. And I'm trying to navigate this interface here so that I can show you something. Because I want to show off not only how awesome this Dell uh, UltraSharp is with its S-Video input at showing CD32, I mean, it looks great. This is a PAL CD32, by the way, and you can see it doesn't care. It just shows it. There's a little bit of a black border around it, but it's still fine. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so awesome. This game was terrifying. Awesome was a psychosis game designed to rip your neurons apart and make you hate everything you've done in life. This game is so frustrating. To this day, I still don't know how to play it. So what a perfect example. Let's, let, uh, let's try it out.
I prefer shield over cannon. I really like how this game balances the music with the sound effects. It prefers the music over the sound effects. That's kind of telling, isn't it? Have you guys noticed the uh, multi-layer parallax of the stars? So when I move, you notice how the stars aren't just a solid static 2D background. There's actually depth to the stars. Stars closer to us move at a different speed as stars further away from us. That is a really awesome feature. This is where the game becomes Space Harrier. But with better music. part of the game where I just don't know what to do and I always die. So if you don't have a keyboard, you're screwed. You gotta press space bar in order to land. So. Yeah, not exactly the best game in the world to play if you don't have a keyboard. You gotta press the space bar in order to land when you're over that, that landing zone. So, yeah, not great. Well, that's it for me. So, this game is really horrible in that not only can you, you know, not only do you have like hit points, but there's a countdown timer. So, you, they don't, Psychosis is notorious for being extremely punishing with their games. And, you know, even if you're like avoiding getting killed by the red blob here or by the, the horrible terror beams or these, you know, jelly beans, it doesn't matter because there's a timer. And if you don't get to where you need to be before the timer goes off, uh, you die anyway. So basically the game is constantly telling you to just F off. I don't know anyone who's actually ever beaten this game. I'm not about to do it, as you can see. Yeah, awesome, right? It's so awesome. I, I really don't know how this game is supposed to be played. I could probably Google it and figure it out, but it's pretty freaking terrible <laughs> as far as, I know the game is called awesome, but I'm like, this game is not awesome, this game is freaking terrible because I'm like uh everything kills you and you have a timer and then you know it's like give me a break do we really need a timer really come on why do we need a timer the game is hard enough psychosis why do we need a timer do you want people this is not a quarter game it's not like people are buying this game or they're playing this game in the arcade and they have to feed it quarters right so why would you make this game so miserably hard? They spent their money, they're 30 bucks to buy the game, and it's like, 
their mentality was like, oh, it's a quarter feeder. We got to feed quarters into the game. Ah, the hell with this. I'm done with this video.